What's going on, stackers? So if you want to create better designs for your books, then you need better fonts, and ideally you want commercial use on these fonts too. Now you can go the paid route like me, I actually use Creative Fabrica for buying all of my fonts, or you can go the free route. So in this video, I'm going to share five websites that you can get free fonts for and for commercial use. So, welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy, and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow, and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you how to find free fonts for commercial use. Now, also, there are timestamps down in the description to help you navigate through this video. Now, the first one is Defont, and you can get there by going to defont.com. Now, at any time that you want to check out these websites, there are links down in the description below as well, just to help you out. Now, with Defont, I believe that this is one of the oldest websites out there to actually get fonts from. There's lots of different fonts on here, as you can see, and if we scroll up to the top, they've easily categorized all the different types of fonts, and they have a search bar just here. Now, that's the wrong one, just here. So, any type of font that you want to search, you can just search in the search bar, but we can see all these different categories. They have fancy, foreign look, techno, bitmap, gothic, basic, script, dingbacks, and so much more. Now, not every single font on here that you can no, not every single font on here you can actually use for commercial use. You have to read kind of the fine print, and the fine print is just here. So this one, if I wanted to use this, oh, I like this, maybe I'll use that. Right here it says, free for personal use. This is not what we want. No, this is not what we want. We want free fonts, free fonts for commercial use. So right here, this one says 100% free. So this Baxo, Sappy, bit of a weird name, I'd be able to use this in my books because it's 100% free. So when you're on this website, come through and look for the fonts that say free. 100% free, this is another one just here. Again, actually, I wouldn't use this one because that looks like Harry Potter. But again, come through, check this out. The font is just one of the oldest and one of the best websites to get your free fonts. That's the first one, that is the font. Now, one thing I actually forgot to mention, and that is in the facts section of the website, if you come all the way down, you can scroll down to here and read this. Are all the fonts free of charge? I really can't get my words out today. Now, the fonts presented on this website are their author's property and are either freeware, shareware, demo versions, or public domain. The license mentioned above the download button is just an indication. Please look at the README files in the archives or check the indicated author's website for details. So on this website, don't just come through, find a font that you like and use that in your projects. Really dive into the licensing and make sure that you can use the font that you found in your books. Now again, that was the first one, that was thefont.com. The second one is a very similar website. This is Font Squirrel. And you can get here by going to Font Squirrel dot com. Now, with Font Squirrel, this is a brilliant website if you want to get your commercial free or your commercial fonts for your projects. If we read just here, free fonts have met their match. We know how hard it is to find quality freeware that is licensed for commercial work. We've done the hard work hand selecting these typefaces and presenting them in an easy to use format. Here are some of our favourites. So every single font here on the no, not the font, on Font Squirrel can be used in your projects. And if we come down to here, they have fonts lists, which is recently added. That's always a good one to check out. Most popular, hot today, hot web fonts, almost free, tags, languages, and foundries. And right here, you can see all the different types of tags 
and categories. So Font Squirrel is a really great resource to get free fonts if you're tight on a budget. So come through, check it out, and you can get there by going to fontsquirrel.com. So that's the second one. Now, the third one is one that not many people actually talk about, and that is Google Fonts. And you can get here by going to fonts.google.com. Now, with Google Fonts, I believe that every single font here is okay for commercial use. So what I went ahead and done is just typed in, are Google Fonts free for commercial use? Yes, free, free. Don't know why it said free twice. All the typefaces listed in the Google Fonts directory are open source, meaning that you can not only use them for any web page, commercial or non-commercial, but unlike with Typekit, you can also download them onto your computer and tweak them yourself. So any type of font that you find here within Google Fonts can be used in your projects. You can download them, and if you're anything like me and use Canva for creating your projects, you can upload them into there and make better designs. If we keep scrolling through here, we can just see how many fonts there are, and it looks like there's literally thousands and thousands of fonts. Look, I can just keep scrolling to see all of these fonts. But this is just a great resource that not many people talk about. And again, that's Google Fonts. And you can get there by going to fonts.google.com. Now, you're probably aware, and I talk about this a lot, fonts play a huge role in your designs. If you don't have very good fonts, then you're not going to be able to create very good designs. And one thing that's really good to understand is font pairing. Now, what I'm going to do, whoops, I've done that again. What I'm going to do is link a video for you to come through and watch. It's this video just here, a non-designer's guide to pairing fonts. KDP cover design tips for beginners. Now, what I'll do is link this video right there in the right-hand corner. If you come through and give it a little watch, you're going to have an understanding on how to combine fonts together. Because when you design stuff, ideally, you want to know about color combinations because that plays a huge role in your designs. But again, so does font combinations, knowing what type of fonts work well together and look good. So again, come through and watch that video if it's something that you're interested in. Now, Google Fonts, I think that was the third one that I wanted to share with you. The fourth one being Font Space. And you can get here by going to fontspace.com. Again, all the links for these websites will be down in the description. Now, on the home page of this website, we can see there's 90,000 plus, whoops, 90,000 plus free fonts. Free downloads of legally licensed fonts or licensed fonts that are perfect for your design projects. Now, this is a great resource to know. I didn't really know about this website until recently, but not all of these 90,000 plus fonts are for commercial use. Now, to find the commercial use fonts is really simple. We just want to go right down to the bottom of the page because if we look here, it says personal use. We don't want personal, we want commercial. Now, if we go all the way down, to the bottom of the page, I believe, we can just go here to commercial fonts. Now, if we click on here, we can see free fonts for commercial use. You can use these fonts for commercial projects. That's right, zero license fees. Enjoy the world's largest collection of commercial use fonts here at Fontspace. So come onto the home page. In fact, what I'll do is I'll link this website this page instead of the home page just so it's a little bit easier but we can see again they have some really great fonts and if you look here it says 100 percent free so any font that you are going to go ahead and download from font space just make sure it says 100 percent free so you're sticking with the rules but if we carry on scrolling through we can see they have lots of different fonts lots of different pages and again it's just a really great resource so come through and check out that as well and that is fontspace.com now the fifth and final one which i want to share with you and that is creative fabrica now with creative fabrica you can buy stuff on here individually or you can have a membership like me 
With me, I have a membership and that allows me to come in and download stuff at no extra cost. Now, if you want to try out a $1 30-day free trial with Creative Fabrica, then there will be a link down in the description below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. But this is not vital. You can actually get free fonts here on Creative Fabrica. Now, what I'll do is I'll link this page as well down in the description, but you want to come onto Creative Fabrica and then come to the freebies. Now, under the freebies, you can click all freebies, free fonts, SVGs, graphics, embroidery, classes, and a lot of good stuff, but we want this one, free fonts. If you click on there, it's going to bring you to this page. And if we read this top headline, it says free fonts for commercial use. So any of the fonts that you get here on Creative Fabrica completely for free can be used in your projects. And it even says so right here. Finding the perfect font for your next project can be difficult and time consuming. However, we have compiled a list of free fonts for commercial use that will make designing and crafting easier and more fun. So again, come through, check this out. If we look through here just on the free fonts, we can see that some of them look really nice. Now with all these websites which I just shared, the majority of them actually have the same fonts, especially with the font, font squirrel and possibly even google fonts in fact it's going to be all of them they're all going to have very similar fonts if not all the same fonts so just be aware of that as well but let's have a quick recap the first one to go and check out is defont at defont.com the second being font squirrel at fontsquirrel.com the third being Google Fonts from fonts.google.com. The fourth being Fontspace at fontspace.com. And then the last, the fifth and final one being here over on Creative Fabrica in the freebie section. So come through, check them all out to see if you can find some fonts for your projects. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.